Welcome to Earth, a love story. I'm your host, Robin Lassiter. Well, we did it. I read you my entire unedited manuscript over 15 weeks. First of all, thank you so much for listening. Thank you to all of you who reached out and shared your reflections and connections. It was a big, vulnerable, terrifying deal for me to share this story with you. And you all made the landing so soft. Oodles of forever gratitude. And if you just got here and have no idea what I'm talking about, go back to episode one and start there with the preface. Hopefully the real ink and paper book will be out in the world, fully birthed into being this summer. So what now? Well, reading the book brought you up to speed on my wild and weird life. Now the podcast transitions to conversations and explorations with some amazing people about what's real and present for us in current time. Sometimes I'll interview experiencers and we can bear witness to their incredible stories together. We'll hear from tarot readers, artists, spiritual teachers, addicts and alcoholics, mystics and weirdos. All the best folks. You'll get to meet some of my very dear friends. We'll talk about my favorite subjects, death, dreams, our precious planet, the underworld, grief, what the ETs told me, and lots more. Also, you'll get to listen to me awkwardly learn how to talk into a mic without a book in front of me. I'm going to ease us all into that. Next week, I'm releasing an Experiencer episode where my dear friend Victor reports on his own wild and weird experiences with such courage and wisdom that I held back tears and had the full body shivers many times as I held space for his telling. I think of his episode, and hopefully the many more experiencer episodes that will follow, as an historical record of journeys through a sacred interior landscape. Through listening to Victor and others like him, we get to touch the liminal space. And maybe, if we're lucky, our ontology shifts just a little, and we get a glimpse of a fuller reality. One that holds the kinds of questions that can guide us all into a more beautiful future. So, from the foothills of the Sangre de Cristo mountain range, I'm sending my love and gratitude to you all. Until next time. For more information or to book a one-on-one session with me, visit honeyheart.org.